we're currently in, uh, where are we? We're north, north of Port Macquarie in some bushland between Port and Crescent. Um, funny story, so we came over the, uh, the ferry at Port Macquarie to the northern side um, and we we're going to head up the, I think it's called Palmer Road, it goes to Point Palmer and um, all the uh, national camps out there. However, we drove up to that road and that road would have uh, swallowed the ram and definitely swallowed the lotus. There was, it hasn't had any maintenance in a while, so there was, uh, yeah, there was, I wasn't gonna drag this combo down there. It was it was pretty gnarly. We should have, uh, I should have taken the camera with me and filmed it, but we didn't. Um, and now we're on Mar Maria River Road, I think it is called. Um, and we're heading up towards Crescent Head. It's about 34 k's along this uh, dirt rural road, which is semi-corrugated, semi-potholed. And yeah, and then we're at uh, Crescent Head in a couple of different campsites there, which we'll show you. We're at the uh, Palm, uh, Point Palmer. Plumber. Point Palmer Road, uh, Point Palmer Camp. And what's the other one we're in? Race course. Race course. Yeah. And we're there for the next week, I think it is. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, even when we, drove in to take Point Plummer Road, we found that there was nowhere to turn around. So we had to basically reverse all the way up the road uh, in the rain. Yeah, so. so I think we reversed about two, 300 meters, ended up say, getting jack of it and um, using someone's driveway to turn around. So um, sorry if that was your house, but um, yeah, I wasn't reversing about 10 kilometers. <laughs> Anyway, I'll show you guys what this road looks like. It was pretty rough on the way in. It's still a bit rough, but it's definitely not what we were going to take anyway. Well, that's over. We're here. We're set up, as you can see. The, um, the van did get a little bit dirty, as you can also see. <laughs> but, look at that. How good is that? 24 bucks a night. Waterfront views, I mean, beachfront views. So good. Anyway, we're here for a couple of days, so we'll, um, We'll explore the area and we'll show you once we're here and then uh, once we pack up from here we're just moving down to that headland right there and we'll do it all over again with another little beach another campsite and yeah this is our life now anyway enjoy Hey guys, thought I might just jump on here and show a little bit more in-depth video on our Starlink hack of how we're getting the court cable inside the van. And um, yeah, I've had a lot of people reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram, just asking for like a couple of questions on, on what we use and everything like that. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So down here, excuse the, uh, the dirt, but down here we have the clip saw. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a 435VFS15 IP34 socket insert. Um, I use the inlet side, so um, it has like the prongs, and then when you get it, I'll put up a photo, but when you get it, it's screwed in. So I unscrewed it, then I cut the hole bigger, because the um, I think it's a 30 or a 32 mil uh, size boat bunk just didn't fit. So I cut the hole slightly a bit bigger, just nipped the, the um, tip off on that bung where the screw would usually be. Then I put the bung inside, screwed it in just to hold it with this one screw here and then sicker flex around the sides um, from the other side of course as well to seal it all up and make it nice and neat um, 
and yeah and then of course we cut a hole in the side of the van which I can't really show you because that's already been done that's all nicely sealed on there um, and then I'll go to the inside so on the inside here where it comes through there that is just a I think they're like a cable pass through or something like that um, yeah so we've got that round hole there and then this part here clips back in we just take it off because the the Starlink um, end that goes into the back of the modem there won't fit through that tiny little hole um, and yeah so that comes through our modems there or router and it's plugged in there so yeah hopefully that's oh, sorry hopefully that clears up a little bit of um the questions on it that everyone's been uh, asking us sorry i didn't uh, put that f full description in there to start with however if you've got any more questions on it um chuck them in just chuck them in send them in i'm happy to answer anything that we do anything that we put online or or we do our van or our vehicle or anything like that we'll always tell you exactly how we did it um with that of course we aren't sponsored or anything like that um also a great little hack i don't know if you've seen it i've um, done it on uh instagram is the Starlink bag from Drifter. So it's a full bag, clear top, comes with a padded insert for the dish, a padded insert for the router, and there's enough room for everything, including the router and all the cables and everything to go inside. Anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, don't think I can say much else about the Starlink other than get it. <laughs> it is the best, even at home before we're traveling, like when we're doing the little trips and that, we'd use the Starlink. It was better than our home MBN, so that was half the reason why we got it. Um, and then now we're traveling everywhere we go, even where it's shitty weather, trees, whatever it is, it's better than it's better than any of those other devices that are out there that, um, let's see, that boost the signal from a phone, boost a phone signal and everything like that. Yeah. Starlink is way better than them, so it's a little bit more costly. So if you can afford it though, definitely well worth it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any other questions, just uh, send them on in. See you later. Hey guys, hope you're having a good weekend and a good Friday. Um, we had a very funny story today. So we went to our first hit camp um, with the whole rig in tow. Um, Alana's just there next to us, we're in front of the fire. Um, and the lady was worried that we're gonna rip up her grass. She was worried that we took up too much room for two people because of the size of our caravan and our car. Even though she'd accepted our booking, so yeah. she knew what size we were. Yeah, so like we booked, we told her we had a 23 foot van, a Ram 3500, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so in the end, after we dropped the van and everything, she goes, nah, you need to leave. So we left, we respected those wishes, even though it was ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we ended, anyway, we ended up here at um, Coffs, Coffs Harbour 4x4 and camping. It's so nice. So nice. I'll swing it around. There's, look at that. It is huge. There's a, there's a lot of people here, but it is still huge. And it's, they have geese and a peacock yep. and chickens. What was that? So they have geese and a peacock and chickens. Yeah, so there's tons of stuff here for everyone. It's coming. <laughs> Watch it peck the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, it's eating whatever that is. Happy Easter. I hope everyone's having a nice Easter morning. It's uh, sun Easter Sunday today. And what else would you rather be doing than cleaning out the toilet? Do you like to do this? <laughs> no, it's your job. Yeah. You'll do so it some day. people eat Easter eggs for Easter Sunday and some people clean out the toilet. You'll do it one day. I'm gonna shut the door because it stinks. <laughs> So now he's back from emptying out the toilet. Today we're going to drive around and have a look at a few beaches along the coast that we haven't seen. Tyson's seen some of them, but I haven't seen them. So I'm just gonna check out the towns. I'd assume everything's gonna be closed. So we'll just um, pull up and have some lunch or yeah, just drive around and check a few things out. So take you along with us. And find fuel.
uh, and find fuel. Hopefully that's less than two dollars eleven. We should have filled up before the long weekend, but we didn't need fuel then. So. Yes. But if you're um, if you're traveling, there's a little app. Which one's this one called? Fuel Fuel app. So pretty much you I can. Think it's um, fuel map. Oh, fuel map. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go on. I don't know if you can see the map there. We'll if see. you can't see it, I'll pop an insert in. But you can um, search your area and it comes up with every fuel station with an accurate price. So, yeah. hopefully It's can... usually pretty accurate. Like there will be, if you if you click on the price, it'll actually have the date that that price is uploaded. But I think it uh, times out after a while anyway. But it's, a, it's good at least you get an indication of the pricing. Mm. But yeah, so we'll have to find some fuel today. And yeah, just go exploring. Spend the day together. And then tomorrow we're off to Station Creek. Yeah. Yes. Can't wait. Yeah. It's so funny too because the last place we were at, Crescent Head, we could hear the waves crashing every night and you don't realise how used to that sound you, like how used to it you get. And then now we're at this farm stay or like a, a hip camp and it's absolutely silent. And it's just, it's so much harder to fall asleep without white noise. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we'll um, take you along today. just come down from the sky pier lookout which I recorded some stuff on my phone but we found this little um, sh store on the side of the road and they're selling bananas and avocados so we're just gonna have a look look at the view Tamarillo have you ever heard of a Tamarillo it's a fruit. Yes. Have you? Do you want them? They're three dollars. I've never had them before. I was hoping they'd have them before. No, there's no elbows left. Everyone must have bought them. Yeah, they look, they would have been there. Oh, yeah. Do you want some lemon and some lemon? <laughs> lemon, lemon? Oh, we missed out on the avocados. Oh, look, we put your money in here. What do you want, baby? No, I don't want anything. You sure? I wanted avocados. We go down the driveway and see if there's any other. So today is a good day. We um well we left Coffs uh, camping at 4x4. That was an awesome place to stay. Absolutely loved it there. Sharon was she was a lovely hostess. Um yeah, can't can't rate that place any more higher. 